This morning we're going to discuss how to add a gitignore file. My video is playing catch up to what I'm saying right now, so I'm going to go really slowly between switching screens. So a gitignore file tells GitHub when you're committing and pushing commits to ignore certain files. So the way things work in GitHub is we have repositories and the way that I use GitHub locally, I should say, is I have I have a local repository, and in that local repository, or in that local uh, project folder, which is GitHub, I have all these different repositories. For instance, uh, right here I have SQL Server, I have various projects here, and inside of these projects, I'm going to use SQL Server as the example. Um, you, we have like a, we have a git ignore file. So, what we can do is we can open this git ignore file, and you'll see that. Um, in the notes, and I have to actually pause here because that's right, the, uh, the screen's shifting too fast. So in the notes, I'm loading this notepad um, git ignore file. There's PowerShell files and T-SQL files. There are no current T-SQL files. And we have two PowerShell files. What this tells GitHub is when I push changes to this repository, it will ignore these files. And I can add more to these files, and it will it will not change those files. This can be very useful if you want to keep certain code private, or if maybe let's say auto import is a massive file and you just don't want that large of a file on GitHub, um, or just in general. For instance, a lot of maybe text files that you import that maybe three or four gig, you just don't want to put that on GitHub for good reasons. Um, or maybe the project isn't complete yet, and so you're going to put it on ignore because you haven't quite written the entire file. So, I mean, it depends on the, uh, the developer, but each developer will have their own uh, process of adding to the git ignore file. Okay, so let's go over to SQL Server. I have this handy GitHub script. I'm sorry, not GitHub script, uh, PowerShell script. And what this will do is this will identify, you'll notice right here in path, it's looking for all of the folders within this GitHub. And it's checking to see if there is a gitignore file. And if there's not, it's going to actually write and tell me, it's going to return basically what that path is, or I'm sorry, what the project name is that doesn't have it. So for instance, there's a gitignore file uh, missing for I can has timer Linux MySQL PowerShell etc. Um, so what I can do just to show since we're looking at how to add it, we will go to PowerShell and understanding that it's there's probably a discrepancy between the video and what I'm saying, I will then go to Notepad. So you may or may not see this right at this moment. And I'm going to, I'm not typing anything yet in the file. Though if I wanted to type something, I would note with a hash symbol whatever it is that I'm going to put in this file. So for instance, PowerShell scripts by the hash symbol. And then underneath that, I could do star.ps1. That would basically say ignore all PS1 files. I don't want to do that. Um, but I will put this note here, PowerShell scripts just so that I can add to these files, um, I can add to this file as time goes on. And then I'm going to select on the option Save As Under File. And there's a Save As type, I'm going to choose All Files. I'm going to go to the GitHub location, which is GitHub slash PowerShell. And then I'm going to save the file name as .gitignore. And you'll notice that there is no file name. It's just a dot get ignore, which is the ending extension. So dot get ignore, save as type all files, and then I'll hit save. And when we go to PowerShell, you'll see that we have a dot ignore file. Okay, and I'm going to close this. Now when I go to GitHub, and this will be GitHub for Windows, this is their Windows UI, and it begins to load. you'll notice that it will recognize that there's now a git ignore file uh, that needs to be uh, committed to PowerShell. 
You'll also notice that I'm out of sync with my local repository by 70. So, how to add the gitignore file, go to notepad, save as, save as type, dot gitignore, and you'll want to make sure that you're under the repository that you want to add it 